so we are at one of the what's the word gorges uh, it's 10 meters 10 meters down and the water source is on the other side um, and it's treacherous here because right at the edge here it can be uh, very slippery with ice and um, and by the way if you come to Norway <laughs> or a, land a landscape like this um, in Scandinavia um, it's if you walk here in the darkness you have these cracks in the landscape and it's very difficult to see them um, if you come from this direction here walking towards this direction you could easily just fall off the edge there People have been here since the dawn of time, almost, or at least since the Ice Age. And um, yeah, I'll have to walk over this way. And uh, I, what I'm thinking about very often is uh, what did they feel when they walked in these forests? When they uh, what? were their worries and their well, how <laughs> uh, it's uh, I struggle to find the words because I'm so I actually get emotional about that um, and it's also getting oh cold it's, it's getting a little bit difficult to speak now I'm going to uh, fetch a tree a dead standing spruce that's what I want. I can see one and I'm going to carry that tree back to camp. That's, that's what you do. I uh, should have brought an axe. piece of advice when uh, you're carrying big logs around in the forest it's um, sensible to take off the branches because you might slip and <laughs> one of those branches might then give you a scar like I have on my <laughs> cheek under the beard but that was not from uh, carrying logs um, yeah, I'm happy with this log uh, and uh, I can spot the camp almost over there. Yeah, it's a big log. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so we are in the lobo. We have the wood burning stove going and uh, life is good. And I have a chair. <laughs> First time out camping with a chair. It's uh, a very lightweight uh, chair. Um, and that felt good. You can lean back. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to have some dinner now. We, bo we are boiling up some water. Um, we can hear the wind. Um, the forecast says that it might, we might have some strong gusts during the night. So that will be exciting. We are on the top of a hill. Uh, it's a viewpoint and I'm going to show you uh, in the morning. But now it's pitch black outside. So we're just going to have some dinner and uh, relax. That's uh, that's it, I guess. <laughs> The Old Norse story says that the earth was created when Odin Vila and Ve killed Ymir, the screamer. And from his corpse they uh, created everything, like the sea from his blood and uh, the mountains from his bones. And sometimes when I look out over this landscape, it's almost like it was a living giant, a living, breathing giant. It, <laughs> you can see the shapes of, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, but it's, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that all, although Ymir was killed, this is all alive. And it's almost like you can see, like this, this shape here could be a rib. But I don't know. Um, Emir died, but nature is alive. Very much so. It's cold. It's really cold. Um, my fingers are freezing up and that never happens. Uh, so I think it's much colder than uh, than most for what was forecasted. So here is our little house <laughs> in the woods. And that's the Helinox chair. As always, leave no trace. But in this case, we are leaving this tarp that someone left here. So we moved down here, um, more water and more firewood. Um, and uh, this is also where I will say uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining us on our little um, hiking trip out here in the woods. And uh, you could consider watching one of the other videos that should appear 
on the end screen. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.